we want to solve the given equation for u and then solve the equation for x. In order to solve an equation for a variable, we must isolate that variable on one side of the equation. So let's first solve u times the quantity gx plus c equals y plus h for u. So looking at the left side of the equation, notice how because we have u times the quantity gx plus c, we can solve this equation in one step by undoing this multiplication. To undo multiplying by the quantity gx plus c, we need to perform the inverse or opposite operation and therefore to undo this multiplication, we need to divide both sides by the quantity gx plus c. Looking at the left side of the equation, dividing by the quantity gx plus c undoes multiplying by the quantity gx plus c, and therefore the left side simplifies to u, or the quantity gx plus c divided by the quantity gx plus c simplifies to one, u times one is u, on the right side, nothing simplifies, and therefore u equals the quantity y plus h divided by the quantity gx plus c. And now we want to solve the equation for x. So beginning with u times the quantity gx plus c equals y plus h. Notice this time x is inside the parentheses, and therefore to isolate x on one side of the equation, the first step will be to clear the parentheses by distributing u. So we would have u times gx or u gx plus u times c or uc equals the quantity y plus h. Normally when we have a product involving variables, we write the variables in alphabetical order because remember the order multiplication does not affect the product. So it's not required, but let's write u gx as g u x and let's write uc as cu. Again, it's not required, but it is more common. The next step is to isolate the x term on one side of the equation, and this is the x term, and therefore we need to undo this addition by performing the inverse or opposite operation. So for the next step, we'll subtract cu on both sides of the equation, and now we'll simplify both sides. On the left, subtracting cu undoes plus cu, where cu minus cu is zero. So we have gux on the left equals, on the right there are no like terms, so we have y plus h minus cu. Now looking at the left side, in order to solve this equation for x or isolate x, we need to undo this multiplication by performing the inverse or opposite operation. And therefore to undo multiplying by gu, the next step is to divide both sides by gu. Dividing by gu undoes multiplying by gu, where gu divided by gu is one, and one times x is x, so we have x equals, on the right side we have the quantity y plus h minus cu, all divided by gu. And now we do have the equation, solve for x. So this is one way to show what x is equal to, but I do want to show how we can express this in a slightly different way. Because we're dividing by a monomial, we could divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. So let's also show this. Again, this is not required, but we do want to recognize we can express this in more than one way. We can write x equals y divided by gu plus h divided by gu minus cu divided by gu. And notice how the first two fractions don't simplify, but this one does, because the numerator and denominator share a common factor of u, where u divided by u is equal to one, and therefore we can also express x as x equals y divided by gu plus h divided by gu minus c divided by g. So it would also be correct to express x in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.